All right, so I think we're, we're as good as it's going to get when it comes to the lighting. Um, so we went and we watched Ka last night, which is a show that she's been wanting to see for a while. Uh, we Since got we it. We were here in December. Right. We got it via, so we've been playing slot machine games on our phones, which get us through Vegas the, points. Through the My Vegas app. Yep, through My Vegas. And I had enough points to get a free ticket for Ka. She had enough points to get a free ticket for Ka. We went and saw it last night and didn't spend any money on going to see it. Which is kind of awesome. Which was amazing. Um, it is, for, for my money, uh, the, the best show we've watched in Vegas. Yes. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I mean, I that, really liked Love, Love that we was went great. and watched last time. But this was... This was, this was special. It was this kind was, of amazing. Yeah. Um, it's weird. Oh, well, yeah, it's Cirque du Soleil. It's really bizarre, but they yeah, have this... I don't this... think there's any just normal shows no. at Cirque du Soleil. That there's this gigantic yeah. rotating stage, which it's is insane. used for everything. It simulates water, sand, Cliffs. rock, uh, everything. And they seem to have, at points in time, um, handles that come out where they can swing around. Yeah, we were tr- kind of trying to figure it out. You can't see them from where we were. But well, there were clearly handles at certain points. Because at some points, the wall is like this. I don't know how they were climbing it when it was as steep as it was. Um, well, yeah, there were pegs on it, but the pegs weren't... They didn't look like they were always there. They couldn't no, have always been there. They weren't always there. And then so, there was the one part yeah. where somebody fell, and all I could think was, oh, God, don't let there be any pegs there. Right? Because so moments before swing. that, they're swinging, and then this guy just takes a dive. It had to be 80 feet. And I just cringed. Uh, yeah. This there were show, quite a few parts that were... <gasps> yeah, this show is is notable, too. They have this part where you've got the, the guys, and I kept calling them the hamster balls, but where they were, they were going back and forth in these wheels around a centrifuge, and they it's went on the It's one of these ones that outside. they have at the old... At circuses, I can yes. remember, where they're in, like, the, their individual wheels, but then it goes around... So there, it was. Uh, there was one on each side, and it goes around like that. And so the guys have to. They're doing things inside, but then the guys went outside. And, oh my God. Like the guy was doing a jump rope on the outside of it, and jumpy oh like actual big jumps. Oh, and while making me so nervous. While they're while they're way up there now, even if and I know there's nets below them. Yeah. The risk for injury is still really Just high. Hitting something that one, I was nervous. If he fell, he would have hit the middle of it and he had parts too where he 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 missed yeah it looked like he tripped i don't know if that was intentional i don't think so but it made me really nervous yeah Yeah. and then somebody else threw him a rope or something because then he had another rope yeah and uh, i remember i said wait where how did he get that it ended up with three there were three different the middle yeah there were three different ropes it was crazy and uh then what we found out after the show was the the two men that play the roles of the guys inside the the, ham, the hamster wheel, whatever you want to call it, um, they're brothers and they're aged sixty three and sixty five, which is insane. Which means me being on the treadmill, BFD, these guys are running and jumping on the outside of the hamster wheel. I got to amp oh, up my game. Yeah, crazy athleticism right there. I just that is that is insane. That yeah. is absolutely, and so the the show is is really some of the best stunt work I've ever seen. Yeah, um, I don't know how they don't get hurt. It's very very well choreographed. It, it is, There's but man, lot, when people take a fall, even in the they had like a little pre-show thing. Yes, which they really make use. So they have the the stage area in the middle, like the front. But it's not a stage at all. It's just that moving stage, and then you can't see what's under, under it, it and around it. But then they had things on the wall. So you're sitting like in a big theater. They had stuff up on the walls. We took a picture. That was the on show Instagram. is basically all the way around you. It, it, yeah. it immerses you in it. Uh, it's different. Like when we walked in, I was expecting them to make more use of that. But it's more, that was pre-show stuff, which was really fun. Which. And so those people that get there late were really obnoxious. 
and they missed all of that. There were so people they didn't showing even up. See all I would of that. say a half an hour into the show, there were people still obnoxious. coming in. Yeah, and the tickets say you should be in your seats 15 minutes before, and and I can see why. They had so the the weird things on the side. They had um, people like swinging and climbing. Had the drum all battle over that. Yeah, that and was that pre-show. was really fun, and they didn't do anything like that during the show. Yeah. They made use a little bit of guys standing there and shooting arrows from there. Uh huh. But that's about all they did there. It was all pre-show that they used that, which was really fun. Yeah, it was. It was really, really well done. Uh, a lot of great stunt work, and just again, the the only complaint that I had was was people, people. who were coming in late, and it was like a there lot. were one, at one point there was, was a group a of about twenty people right that front. all came in at the same time, and I couldn't see. And that was during the part with the boat, with the, where the yeah. boat's flinging back and forth. Yeah, that like, was really cool. Seriously, I can't see what's going on. This is driving me nuts. There were even people in the very front row that came in late, which I was really surprised. At least 20 minutes late. You know, you're you're paying for these expensive tickets. tickets yeah, and... the tickets, uh, your cheapest tickets for this show. I mean, we got in there for, for free through the app. But the cheapest tickets that I've seen are $55. Those ones down front have to be in excess of 100 and some dollars. So Yeah. I was actually kind of surprised they kept letting people in that late into the show. And they had, uh, they that was another show that had a very strict no phone rule. We saw the uh, concierge or whatever. Ushers. Go tell a lot of people, put your phone away. Yeah. They even put it into the little pre-show. God, that they was funny. A, they had a guy that, at first we thought it was an actual, like, I thought it was member. obnoxious. Because he had a flash on, he was taking yes. pictures. I was like, "Holy crap, that's obnoxious!" Yeah, so and the lady the behind us is just watching it. him, like seriously. Yeah, they threw the phone into what threw looked it, like a fiery pit. Like, and then they threw him. Yeah. So then yeah. that's when you're like, oh, "Okay." When the phone got thrown, I thought, "Geez, that could be a lawsuit." And then when they picked up the guy, I went, "All right, so he's a plant in the audience." It was funny. But it was it was, but it was very their funny way and well of done. You, don't. Because at first they take pictures of themselves, like, "Hey, ha ha," and then they throw the phone away. And it was it was a very because they don't, they, they don't actually speak any words for the whole thing. No, a well, lot of the tiny intro. Yes, and then there's that there's was really, like really short, but other they than have that, their own. It's almost like a sim language at points. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it was it was very very interesting. Uh, and your your central plot is a brother and sister, and their mother, and their the their struggle. Was in, in there as well. The father was in at the start. We didn't see him by the end. Yeah, I think um, he got flung off of the. It tells a linear story, but it's boat. not a story that's as important as everything else that's going on. Right. So there were points where I was thinking, so what's going on here? But it, it didn't take me out of it. It was absolutely fantastic. Uh, if you're really so if, cool visuals. Yeah. If if you want to see like a, an amazing show. I would say cause just fantastic. It's one that I could definitely see going and seeing again, especially yeah. going. I would love to sit closer up and actually being able to see some of the costumes. The one, stuff. the the one, the one drawback of getting the free tickets is that that means you're sitting towards the back. Yeah, we were so very far back. We were, we were four, four rows, rows from the back. Yeah. yeah, and it was. But still, we it were was able still a great show. It was very, absolutely. Very well. Just, just the colors and the, the fire and everything about it, just We were able to see amazing. enough that we could tell the individual characters apart. Yes. yes. We could tell, like, who the the siblings were and yeah. the mother and, yeah. But and it then would they be cool the... to be closer up and see yeah. the costumes. And they do do a bet where the characters are, like, in the audience <laughs> on raised platforms so they're not they're they're visible, yeah. um, but they're kind of in the audience. They make use of that space. Yeah, it was really well done. And then the, the big the big battle at the end was that supposed to be on water or because when they stepped it, it it waved, but I couldn't tell what kind of surface they were supposed oh. to be on. Yeah, because it made it, it look like, like water. it kind of was them fighting on water. There's a part two where. They're falling, and it looks like they're falling through blades of grass, and it gives you this idea that the people that you're watching might be really tiny. It's really or strange. Or it's in a different world. It's almost like an Alice in Wonderland kind of yeah. aspect to it, because, um, and again, just the sets are so fantastic, and 
the stage is huge. Yeah. Like when they open up that curtain and they show that whole industrial area. And you're like, wow, this is massive. And with these buildings, you wouldn't think, you just go in and you're like, ah, this nice little casino you got here. And then you walk through the door and you go, holy crap, there's a whole arena in here. Oh, it was everybody. And when, once we went in through the doors, everybody was just taking pictures and oh my gosh. Yeah, it is, it is it is. I would say it's bigger than the one for Beatles. I would say for I the size know. of the arena, it's I bigger. Don't, I don't know because Beatles, the stage is in the middle. And there's seats all the way around right, it. Right. So you don't actually see the full size of that arena. But I would think they're pretty close in size just because Beatles, the stage is in the center. It's shaped kind of like a star. And you've got the seats all the way around and it's more vertical. The one thing that they, they have signs on your way in telling you that uh, Ka cost $165 million dollars. I believe to it, that, put into that place. set was just and it's crazy. One one reason that we need to come back after October is because now there's a new Cirque show coming up at the Luxor called Run. Yeah. Which looks Supposed like be, it's it going to be it was fun. An infe- action. An action. That's yeah, what it is. An, an action Cirque du Soleil uh, show. So that's going to be fun. And yeah. Um, of of the shows we've watched, I would say that the car I would say is the best one we've watched in, that was in any awesome. of our trips. Did we even watch a show our first trip? Blue Man Group. Remember we went right. and saw we it went last, last night. Last minute. Because we were like, we have to go we to a show. We have to see a Vegas show. Oh, we this to one's right by where we're staying. Yeah. That was really fun though. That was a fun show to go and see. We really didn't know much. It was about a fun it. intro to Vegas. Yeah, and, then, and that's what made it so we were like, okay, we have to go see more shows when we're in Vegas now. Yeah. Because that was fantastic. But that was a last minute, we have time. Because we didn't have a lot of time that first trip. No, we had hardly any. We we had very, very little time that first trip. Um, so, yeah, we'll we'll have to come back and see Run. And then well, Miss Stair, O, the that, Michael Jackson one. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. That would be fun to see. <laughs> and then there's a bunch of other showgirl stuff that we can go and see, too. I don't know so. about that, but uh. <laughs> well, we'll talk. We'll talk. We'll we'll discuss it. Well, I'll I'll discuss it, and then <laughs> you'll have your rebuttal, and that'll probably be the end of that. I've seen enough showgirls out on the I street, know. so I think I'm good. You know, it's different this time. So they have the fake showgirls out on the street, but I don't know if something happened. But they're 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 dressed differently now. They're more covered up. Than the first two times Most we've been them, here. Most of them, though, I did see Most the of one them, girl yeah. that had the sparkly pasties, and her pasty was coming off. But it's, I it's, almost felt like telling her, um, "Do you know you're showing?" But know, it's, it's strange because that. all of them were were the whole pasty variety. Now it's, it's different. No, but, no. Remember last time? It was they always go in their groups of two. Yes. It was most of the groups of two. One would just have pasties, and one would be covered up. It's just, it just well, made me wonder. Well, not covered if, up, but like have like a bikini top or a halter top, something like that. But it and, would be and one girl would be pasty. They, this I, time, we've only seen a couple. That I heard them talking and, and they expect a minimum of $20 Which each. Which I understand. They have to be out there in the heat all day. I know. I'm just they saying that, like, they have to rent those costumes daily, but which some, can't. In be that paid. case, she she was telling them after the pictures, so it's okay. You took uh, no, the picture. I've, so, I walk around a lot when Shannon's doing his videos. A lot of them tell them before. Okay. I saw a couple. It was two ladies that were gonna get pictures, and she said, "So a selfie is is twenty dollars for a picture. Is that okay?" And they're like, "Oh yeah." So a lot of them do say something before. I think the girls are very polite for mostly, the most part. Mostly. Because they know Any group like that you're going to have better. yeah, you're going to oh, have yeah. people that Oh, I'm sure. And I'm sure that has to be a, a hard job. It yeah. really does. They I, seem less pushy now than they were the first couple yes. of times that we were down here. Um, That's why I think something changed somewhere with them. Could be. Could be. Because it just it just seems different when we're out there. But yeah. So, anyways, but in relation to the, the video's topic, which is Ka, if you haven't seen it, go see it. It's fantastic. We really liked it. You want to yeah. come to Vegas, you want to see a really, really Vegasy show, that's the one. And Cirque du Soleil and amazing everything. And we'll see Zumanity Zumanity. It's tonight. like I was seeing, was, was that the fantasy Zumanity. video that we were talking about how 
We get Cirque du Soleil at home, but this is completely different yeah, because they have the stage built for it. Yeah. This you couldn't do as a traveling show. 80 ton could, rotating stage. Couldn't do it. 80 ton rotating stage. Fantastic. It was, that was crazy. Fantastic. And that, that, that boat was, was absolutely just, amazing. Just, the boat at the beginning, it was like the biggest teeter-totter ever. And it was, it was and all over. And people just fly people off just of it. just flinging each other and just... Yeah, and, and then they have the set, and there was a part that the set was even covered in sand, or well, and then they raised the stage up. Something similar to sand, so it was. I think something. it was sand. I don't know because it wasn't really dense because there was a guy that stuck his head in the sand that wouldn't right. work with actual sand. It'd True. be too dense. Yeah. So it had to be well, and he had to breathe. I kept thinking that because his head True. was in the sand for quite a while. Yeah. Um, but it was a sand-like substance that from our. Our distance definitely looked like sand, but yeah, the the stage gradually just tilted, tilted, and it started pouring off, and eventually it went all the way vertical. Well, that's when it was turned into rocks. Yeah. Or no, the sea first. Oh. Yeah, I don't remember. We did all sorts of crazy stuff, though. No, it was the sea after the boat sank. Right. And then it was sand, and I don't know how they did it. I don't know how they went from they having had, it like this did you notice and then the having the sand. They had a DVD that was kind of like a behind the scenes, and I think that would be really fascinating, and I think that's why yeah. they sell that. Compared to most that don't do that, I think they did because that set is insane. Yeah. So I wonder if it would talk about... So there's a part where there's people shooting bows and arrows, and they it looks like it hits and it sticks her so they did a lot of work with the lighting as well that made it look a certain way yeah. and it looked like the arrows would hit and now there's a peg there and there was a peg there because they would climb on it or spin on it they were doing crazy stunts on these pegs that were not there before and i wonder if it kind of goes into that we thought yeah, that maybe crazy. they must have had to come from underneath the stage and pushed up and they'd have to have that so perfectly perfectly choreographed because there were also times when guys would fall and they had to be pulled back in so they wouldn't get hit by a peg i'm thinking yeah i don't it know was, it was crazy it was it was really really impressive and again those two Very, guys in the wheels like, that's just super choreographed though yeah. it would have to be yeah everything was was exact yeah. Everything was exact. So if somebody was going to take a dive, they knew exactly where and when. Well, and there was a part that... it was that, fantastic. So the, the stage was mostly vertical, and it was spinning as it was vertical. Oof. And there was like six six uh, characters, people on it, as it was spinning vertical. I, I don't know. I'm, it's insane. I wondered with that, and I wondered with the spinning wheels too, how exactly they they don't get disoriented at all. Like I know you focus on they one spot. They stayed upright. The people stayed upright. It's just there it's, was that one person. The, on the amount peg. of concentration Did you see them on yeah. the peg where they were like leaning on it. Yeah, the concentration so is just insane. The concentration yeah. required Super is just crazy. Super choreographed. Um, and and just everything is absolutely spot on. So, yeah, greatly enjoyed and and can't recommend it enough. Yeah, that was um, really, really fun. We liked that one a lot. Mm -hmm. So, there you go. Um, cause, fantastic. We're going to see Zumanity tonight. Which and then we'll let awesome you guys know. Too. It should be amazing. Has another Cirque du Soleil? At pretty, pretty standard. Cirque du Soleil equals awesome, awesome. show. <laughs> and there you go. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the like and subscribe buttons if you're browsing your way through and just happen upon this video. And this is our last full day in Vegas. Sad face. But uh, I'm taking a lot of a lot of stuff home this time. Um, I'm going to be obnoxious with wearing Las Vegas stuff at home in videos on the Entertainment Guy channel. So I apologize for that. But uh, I they have fun stuff and it's really dirt cheap. It's so dirt cheap. Yeah. It's it's cheaper to buy this shirt than to buy a blank white T-shirt at home. So I'm like, yeah, for four dollars, sure, I'll take that for four dollars. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. So there you go. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I'll talk to you again soon.